Brothers and sisters, the cradle of humanity, according to the ancient decoded records of antiquity, was a massive continental landmass called Pangaea Lemuria. And it was from there that would come what would eventually be known as the philosophy of fire and light, which the Bible, fakers and manipulators, the early Christian parasites of Rome, did their best to emulate and imitate or eliminate from Earth's consciousness time zone records as they compiled their book from a multitude of stolen ancient scrolls. Now, before we continue, please don't think that humanity began on this planet. In fact, we will discuss in chapter 2 man's meta-terrestrial origins. But, for now, we will stay with the most recent history with the time span of the last 250,000 years. So in spite of their secret insidious work, which still continues today, much of the advanced knowledge and sciences of the masters have been decoded. In Earth's ancient history, the masters possessed of such powerful astral light and intellectual content that their harmonic vibrations lay far beyond the comprehension of those most advanced modern-day sources and sciences. Ancient scrolls now possessed by the Vatican and other co-conspirators of the Illuminati that only the master sages could have produced, speaking of first-hand accounts of their experiences. So-called prehistoric records are stacked with accounts of the golden age, of heroes and sheroes, of giants and divine statues, of demigods and sons of gods who maligned or aligned with men, who left highly advanced codes of law and sophisticated manuals of civilization which manifested a mastery of self, time, and space that no so-called primitive savage could have achieved, or even so-called modern man for that matter. For the time being, I'll just give you a few of these grandmasters' names. They were Aser or Issa, Heru, Imhotep, Quetzalcoatl, Ptahotep, Jehudi, Hermes, Anu, Buddha, Zoroaster, Zlotsi, and Amurabi. And the list of hundreds of others still linger in the clutches and the bowels of the Vatican or hover in the dim light of the Akashic records and the remotest of ancient days. Brothers and sisters, our ancestors were indeed superhumans who left behind profound evidence of their greatness, scrolls which have stood the test of time as the norm of perfect wisdom and spotless conduct. But then the clouds of ignorance and superstition began to gather over the consciousness of humanity, predicted as it turns out by the masters themselves. The European virus of war, conquest, and oppressive control, modulated and created genetically from a fear-based consciousness paradigm, began to consolidate into the formidable force of what we see now in the fourth century, where we find a group of scheming bastards bent on greed and world domination, compiled their Bible in 325 A.D. from the copious works stolen from the conquered civilizations of these masters. Writings which consisted of fables, <coughs> fictions, parables, allegories, myths, and symbols, and then presented these sublime works of the highest sciences as dead-letter history to a deceived, dumbed-down world as the Word of God.